All right, so I wanna explain how I'm kind of an idiot, at least some people really, really think so, and I wanna explain what I think would help correct this situation and help people who have knee pain and who are older figure out how to help themselves. I have a very popular video that talks about why you get knee pain as you get older. And I got a message, a comment on that video from somebody called Hat Rat. I don't know if Hat Rat is a man or a woman. No matter what, I respect this person because this person has pointed out something from that video that makes me look like an idiot. So I want to clarify it and make sure that you understand how to think about the problem and still help yourself. And it's totally fine if Hat Rat wants to continue to think I'm an idiot, but hopefully the advice and, and the perspective I give helps anyone who has the same opinion, who has the same read of that video. So Hat Rad basically said, uh, we get arthritis because we have not used our knees for years and years and years. Young man, do you realize what you have said about all aging people? Do you realize your discrimination? I am 73 and have not stopped walking all day long, carrying things, making beds, and cleaning floors on my 20 years of motel work, and you are saying that I have developed arthritis because I don't move like I did when I was 50 and arthritis-free. There are many, many of us who keep working and moving as we age. We are not all as you think of us. Why do your knees hurt as you get older? Young man, our knees do not have an extended warranty. So Hat Rat is also kind of clearly a little bit insulted and annoyed and angry at me. and so. Uh, the thing Hat Rat is pointing out is that some people, yes, do keep moving, walking, have to get down on floors and do these things. And uh, I believe this person believes that I think that arthritis um, doesn't exist. And that is true. Well, that is only partially true. What I have said consistently and also in the video that Hat Rat is commenting on is that Arthritis is a very bad thing to blame for your knee pain because study after study after study shows that the severity of arthritis, how badly damaged your knee joint is, has absolutely no correlation to the amount of pain, discomfort, and lack of mobility that you have. Which is to say, more explicitly, that when you look at people who have supposed bone-on-bone -bone arthritis in their knees, this is not me making it up, this is actually in large-scale scientific studies, that that bone-on-bone -bone arthritis doesn't correlate to actually having physical pain or disability. And on the flip side, if you have a knee that in an x-ray looks good, you may still have all those locking symptoms, you may still have pain and discomfort in your knee. Which is to say then that based on these studies, looking at an x-ray at your knee to determine whether or not you have arthritis is pointless. What you can say is like, hey, my knee hurts when I do certain things, and since those x-rays don't tell us anything, since the severity of arthritis doesn't really tell us anything, we need to think about something else and figure out how to restore that mobility. Now, Hat Rat is really angry because Hat Rat thinks that I'm saying, hey, old people, none of you do anything, and I am not saying that, I wanna be clear about that. That video that I made is geared towards a lot of older people that I know in my life, extended family, all that, who don't move that much, right? They've lived their lives in chairs, their, all their adult working lives was sitting, right? So their atrophy results in muscle problems, joint problems, right? Their joints hurt because the muscles have gotten too weak. Somebody who's doing manual labor like, uh, or you know, physical stuff all day like Hat Rat, they can also run into pain and disability. It would just be for a different reason. So then, or slightly different reason. So if you look at my other video, which is why athletes get knee pain as they age, all those same lessons would apply to older people who have been active. And the lessons there are basically, hey, if you're doing the same motions all the time, if you are not stretching, if you're not strengthening muscles in a balanced way, if you're not continuing to make sure your hip muscles are allowing full range of motion so that you can comfortably control certain positions, then you're going to run into knee issues. It's not to say that it's your fault, you're a bad person, you're dumb, anything like that. It's just that 
when we go through normal life, when we're working, like if you're like Hat Rat, obviously had a very busy physical job. And Hat Rat probably didn't think, well, maybe is my piriformis working well? Are my glutes working well? Are my hamstrings working well? If, if you're going through your work day, I'm going to assume Hat Rat is a hard working person and probably was working 10 hour days if not more, trying to keep the motel running, doing whatever, probably at the end of the day, probably just wants to sit down and watch some TV and relax, have a cold drink, have a nice dinner and get ready for the next day, right? So for a lot of us, it's very easy. I, I think for 99.9% .9 of us, it's very easy to just get caught in this idea of like, well, I'm finished for the day and I don't need to think about my body. But if you do start running into physical ailments and pain, then you absolutely need to think about how the muscles work, whether they're balanced, whether they're allowing you to do the things you need to do, right? There was a time I couldn't even get to my toes, right? That's gonna affect, if I'm working in a motel or doing physical jobs, it's gonna affect what I can do safely because uh, I might crunch uh, oh, my back, like make something hurt, I might, have to twist constantly to one side because my muscles along my spine and hips are so out of balance. Maybe I don't have the strength to get down to the floor comfortably without assistance, so I find compensations to do it. All those things, when they're compounded day after day after day, are going to affect the comfort levels of your body, okay? So, a couple things here. I wanna pull up a little list here. So, things you do want to pay attention to are if you are muscular, if you're an older person and, and you, you clearly have muscle on the thighs and the hips and all that, awesome, then you wanna be thinking about stretching and building flexibility. If you're, you know, there are, I just went to a yoga class that happened to have a lot of older people in it who are probably in their 60s and 70s, and a lot of, I saw a couple people who are very muscular, a couple of guys very muscular, but so stiff, right? Like, uh, uh, can't, uh, right? That guy needs to do something about his hamstrings, his quads, his inner thighs, his glutes. All those muscles have to be more extensible, be able to lengthen so that the knee joint doesn't hurt. So his hip and his spine don't hurt, right? It's easy to look at an x-ray and blame arthritis for the problem, but we need the ATM, always think muscles, okay? If you are not well muscled, if you are atrophied, if you have very bony legs, very bony butt, then you wanna be thinking about strengthening things, right? If you are just somewhere in between, then you, no matter, actually it doesn't matter if you're in between or any of those things, you wanna to remember to build strength at every length, meaning if you do develop good flexibility, you need to have strength at that lengthened position, right? So if, if your hamstrings allow you to go really deep, you still need to have strength at that lengthened position. So if you're that really stiff older guy in yoga, he is strong probably in this range of motion, but if we could even lengthen his hamstrings to here, he'd be really weak here and he'd need to safely build strength with the hamstrings lengthened. Same thing for the hip flexors, the thigh muscles, the quads, okay? All those need to be strong and long and be able to go in between both those uh, short and long positions with some strength, right? And then also you wanna make sure you work on your hips because if your hips, this hip joint, if they don't work well, if these hip joints don't work well, your knees are gonna take a massive hit, right? Like if you can't, if you can't bend into say a deep human Asian squat, deep primal squat, whatever people are calling it, Russian squat, uh, whatever, if your hips can't maintain the knee position in, in a nice easy neutral and they wanna bow out, you're adding lateral stress and strain to the knees or they wanna go in, same deal. If they're trying to like torque out because you can't maintain the knee position here and your knees are knees and feet are trying to twist out that's adding a twisting force to your knees which is not going to feel good right you want your hips to be able to do a lot of different things the hip joints have to be able to create extension abduction adduction 
hip flexion, external rotation in all these positions. And if you can't, that's gonna make your knees hurt. Forget about just saying it's arthritis. You wanna think about all these muscles, so ATM, okay? If you are watching this and you're an older person or you just feel like you're really stiff, you feel like ugh, just really losing control over basic functions and your knees are kind of bugging you, then I'm gonna link to certain videos at the end of this video and also in the description box. And I strongly recommend you check them out, okay? Um, couple of ones to highlight. Um, I have some videos about how to get up and down from the floor without your hands. That is a basic function that I think older people who have knee pain often really struggle with. And that is a sign of everything I've talked about in this video, which is hip function, leg strength, and the flexibility and strength of the muscles throughout the leg. Um, I have a, so both of the, there's two videos, how to get up from the floor and how to get down to the floor. Both of those will be very helpful. Um, I've got a video about knee pain that, um, basically building leg strength if you have knee pain that I'm gonna link also. And then there's also a hip routine about some of the worst things you can do for hip pain. And then it has a workout that you can do just to help you start building some basic strength in your butt and hip muscles, right? So that's gonna help you really help a lot with knee trouble. Because like I said, if the hip muscles are weak, the knees are not gonna be happy. So I'm gonna link to all those. Maybe I'll throw a link right here so you can click on that. Um, I hope you, you will watch at least one of those um, so that you know, you'll find that something is a little bit helpful for you in getting rid of the knee pain. And I wanna be clear, I'm not blaming old people. I'm not blaming people who are advanced in years for being lazy or anything. I know people who are in their 30s who have knee problems. I had such bad knee problems in my 20s that walking downstairs was hard. And for me, that was definitely because of both atrophy and repetitively doing the same things that allowed atrophy to happen around my hips and knees. And finally, I wanna leave on a good note. Um, I, it's not all negative comments around here. There are tons of great comments. So I wanted to share one from Wendy B who said, Matt, I love your work and the innovative ways you teach people to move their bodies and their own bodies. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years and you have taught me things no one else ever has. I use your work for myself and share it with everyone I can. Keep up the good job and thank you, thank you. ATM, always think muscles. Thank you, Wendy B, for this very kind comment. I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate everybody who makes nice comments like that and I, I do honestly hope that the material that I share and the perspectives that I share help others get out of knee pain, hip pain, foot pain, back pain, shoulder pain, all kinds of aches and pains. And I hope it helps you understand just how much is possible with your body um, and how much you can improve things no matter how old you are, no matter how bad things really feel. Um, those videos that I'm gonna share, you'll see in the comments there are a lot of people who are older who are making huge changes to their bodies. And, you know, I saw one, I, I don't have it on my phone here, but I saw one comment from somebody who was actually thrilled because I think she was in her 60s and she's now able to sit down on the floor with her grandkids and play with them. And that to me is like, that's the best. Being able to read a comment like that, that's what I wanna see. Um, I, you know, it pains me to, to see People like Hat Rat who are like, Ugh, Matt, you are an absolute idiot. Um, but I hope that this video clarifies and I hope that this helps Hat Rat and anybody out there like Hat Rat and anyone out there who's not like Hat Rat who didn't think I was an idiot. I hope this helps. Um, if you wanna support this channel, use the links you'll find in the description box for Patreon, PayPal, and whatever else. Um, you can use the thanks, join buttons on YouTube. Please share this video with somebody else you know who's got some knee pain or somebody else who thinks I'm an idiot because of what I say about knee pain and arthritis. And uh, I hope you always remember, oh no, you got to remember to uh, click the like button also. That's very, very, very important. Subscribe, share this video, share it everywhere. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't. Mm -hmm.